Hello Yella, thank you so much for tuning in to a bit of Deirdre by Deirdre. I am super excited about today's video because it is an informative video and it is also about a product that we really forget about. We focus so much on styling products that we forget about shampooing our hair. We forget about the importance of shampooing our hair. And so today I want to talk a bit about that. I want to delve into a lot more um, about shampooing rather than which shampoo to get. I want to talk about how much shampoo to use, how often to shampoo your hair, how to properly shampoo your hair. All of that and a whole lot more coming up in this video. So if this is something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that we know about shampoos is the fact that naturals typically stay clear of shampoos that have sulfates in. Sulfates are the things that make the shampoo foam and it is harmful to your hair long term. So a lot of the times you will find that the no sulfate shampoo still foam. I can't give you the reason why but it is sulfate free or at least that's what the packaging says. I personally use no sulfate or low sulfate but I don't use sulfate shampoo. It's just something that I don't do. Ever since I started my natural hair journey I've sort of gone with that. I have found at least two low sulfate shampoos that I like and so I do use those. I do like my shampoo to foam a bit. A lot of the natural hair no sulfate shampoos does foam so I really like those ones but there are naturals that prefer not to use shampoo. So they will co-wash. You do find co-wash products which is a more of a conditioning cleanser then you find naturals that use conditioner as a wash product I don't recommend this because conditioners are not made to wash your hair with conditioners are made to sort of repair your hair after the washing process so to condition the hair again entirely up to you I think it's important for us to know what to expect in a shampoo because I often find people saying the shampoo left my hair feeling stripped. If you are using a clarifying shampoo, chances are your hair will feel stripped. A clarifying shampoo is a shampoo that deep cleans your hair. So if you have a whole lot of product build up or if you just like a deep clean, then that is typically the shampoo you'll go for. I personally like a clarifying shampoo. I think a shampoo is meant to clean your scalp and so that is exactly what I want from it. Again, like I said, I like my shampoo to foam up a bit, so typically those are the two things that I like. I am okay with my hair feeling a little bit stripped. I don't exactly want it to feel as though it's going to break though. So, do decide what you need from a shampoo. If you find that you don't like that feeling, then maybe opt for a co-wash or maybe opt for a, a cream cleansing shampoo. Okay, so another frequently asked question is how often do you wash your hair? I mean it could be daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, yearly. I typically wash my hair weekly because that is around about the time that I see my hair is getting dirty, this product build up, it's feeling a little bit on the oily side, you know, you really need to listen to your hair. However, sometimes you're doing a bit much, like maybe you're doing like a sleek look or whatever, then I'm not going to wait the whole week because then I have a whole lot of product on my hair. So then I'll go in and wash my hair maybe twice for the week. So it really is dependent on how much product you have on your hair, how dirty your hair is, just listen to your hair. Hey guys but try not to do it early as a lift off. Another question people ask is where do you shampoo your hair? Shower, the sink, in a bucky, in the bath. I typically use the shower. I like the shower because I feel like when I'm washing my hair and the, the shampoo runs down my hair that it just makes things a whole lot easier for me but again this is entirely up to you. What should the water temperature be? <laughs> Now if the water is too hot, you will find that your hair gets dry and it feels even more stripped. So I don't use very hot water. Cold water simply is not an option. I ain't got time for no cold water guys. Lukewarm water is what I opt for. Some people like using cold water because they feel like it closes up the cuticle and blah 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 blah. Guys, I ain't doing cold water period, okay? Hot water doesn't work, my hair is dry, it's stripped, so lukewarm water lukewarm water is the way to go for me. You can decide what works for you. Another question is how to wash your hair. You know a lot of the times we forget that we're actually washing our scalp. So apply the product to your scalp. Massage the product into your scalp. Clean your scalp. Then work your way down the rest of your hair. That's how I do it. Now you might ask how much shampoo is enough. Like how do I know how much shampoo to use? 
I typically, if I think about it, like if I'm thinking in terms of measuring the shampoo, is about two to three tablespoons of shampoo. But if I feel like I need more, I go in with a bit more. Again, listen to your hair. But like I said, we all have more or less the same scalp size. It doesn't really matter how long your hair is because that sort of runs down your hair. But maybe start off with like a tablespoon and then go in with a bit more if you feel like you need more and then decide, okay, that is the amount that works for me. But like I said, remember, you don't have to apply a whole lot of shampoo to your hair. Work on the scalp and then let that shampoo run down the rest of your hair and then do the washing. <laughs> So remember when we went to the edges and we used to love how the edges are just like goes in massage the scalp. So that's really fine to do, but remember don't now go all boss and all like because then you're also just now tangling your hair and again you're just making things difficult for when you're going to be detangling your hair. So for me, before I shampoo my hair, I pre-poo my hair. This has been something that I've added to my hair regimen a while back and it's really worked for me. I find that my hair is detangled a bit more. It's also like really moisturized and I gave it almost like a bit of a treatment before I go in and shampoo my hair. And that is a story for another day or at least a video for another day. But I pre-poo my hair. So I don't exactly want to go in and tangle my hair again because once I'm done shampooing my hair, I'll condition my hair and then the detangling process is generally an easy process for me. So once your hair is shampooed, how do you dry your hair? I don't. I don't dry my hair guys. I leave my hair wet because I like applying products to wet hair. Like I said, I'm standing in the shower, so it really works for me. It doesn't matter that water is dripping on my shoulders and stuff. So I apply my conditioner while still in the shower. And usually I would go straight in with a deep conditioner. And then once the deep conditioner is in my hair, I'll put on a plastic cap, leave that on for a while, and then go ahead and do the rest of the things. So guys, I'll talk more about what follows the shampooing process in later videos. For now though, this is all of the things that I think I can share with you guys with regards to shampooing. If there's anything that you guys feel you can add to this conversation, then please leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you like the content that I'm producing, then please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Of course, turn on your notification bells. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're going to pop around for some more videos. Be safe. Toodles.